This week on Sport Fishing on the Fly, we're back up in northern Quebec. This time we're staying at Arctic Adventures Tunalik 2 Camp, which is situated one and a half miles inland from Ungava Bay. Joining me is my brother Dale and longtime friend Donald Tom. We're fishing a small river, primarily for brook trout, using large dry flies. However, we also have the opportunity to hook into Arctic char and Atlantic salmon. So it's fly fishing for big brookies today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Look at that big dome. Hey. I think it's the technique. I think it's the fisherman. <laughs> Some days are good and yeah. Some days are better. <laughs> <laughs> A lot better. Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander, builder of world-class fly float and mooching reels. The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design. The Freshwater Fishery Society of British Columbia. Catch what you've been missing, go fish BC. Thing up here, big most patterns. Look at this baby I'm putting on. Big fly, big fish. So I got two two outfits rigged today. I've got a six weight, and I'm gonna cast with a uh, essentially dry line or even a sink tip, something just a little bit down. And I've also got my dry line on my my eight weight. And I, of course, you have to match the size of the weight of the rod with the size of fly you're casting. You know, I've got an eight weight mainly because not the size of the fish. The fish are big but I need something big to cast this fly. You've got to have something that can power out, you know, it's the size of a bird, essentially. So, I'll put that on the dry line and it should be interesting how we, how we do with it. Oh, that was nice, eh? Hey? Couple of casts. Donald got a fish right away. I've got one on here. Boy, the fish up here sure look nice, eh? Hey? Nice soft water. He's got the he's got the colors, eh? Hey? That's what he's actually. Boy, beautiful looking fish. There he comes. Yeah, a lot bigger up here, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Nice colors, beautiful spots. Excellent. Wow, those are beautiful fish. And Dale, you got the what? You put the bulldog well, on? I've got a bulldog with no hackle. Oh, so we beat up yesterday. We so got I a variety just... of things we're going to try. So I'm starting with the dry line. I got a big mouse pattern on. And you know, we want to try some top water stuff. Of course, we're all using dry lines. Dale's got a bulldog on, and I think Donald has a uh, small streamer on. So, well, you got a mouse now. 
Oh, I, I see him. Okay, I got to get down to the fish, but we're just working this long pool. It's fantastic, and I think you got to try all the different types. These big brookies will come up and hit a, a mouse pattern. I mean, this thing's huge. This, is, this thing looks like a shrew. It's a monster. So we're expecting some big fish today. Should be fantastic. Tarantula dry. It's like the first one, you gotta just give it a couple of twitches, eh? Just get the legs working. Oh, there, a guy hit the most. Oh. He ate the most. Oh, the most. He ate the, the most. most. <laughs> just on the skid through, finally. Finally, they get the dry fly after all that Not time fishing the well right? line. Oh, that's a nice fish. I got a huge most on. Big guy. Nice fish on a dry fly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The nice thing is fishing these sandbars, too. Yeah, it's, it's easy. Perfect. Waiting. Yeah. You don't have any. Look at these brook trout. Beautiful brook trout. Uh oh. That's where a net would be helpful. No, no, that's right. Come on. Ah, there. Oh, and I snapped off a fly. That's what I didn't want to do. Ah, oh, darn it. And he's right below me. I wish I had the net. Look at that. He's right here and he's got my fly in his mouth. Today on the bench, we're going to tie you up a real special fly for brook trout. You know, brook trout love to take a dry fly, and probably the, one of the best patterns you're going to use is a little mouse pattern. So today we're going to tie you up squeaky. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a size 4 dry fly. We use some 8 aught black thread to tie with. Some black mini zonker rabbit strip for the tail. Some deer hair for the body. Some black mini zonker rabbit strip for the ears. Some deer hair for the collar. And some deer hair for the head. First step to the fly is to take some mini black rabbit strip. Now this is the, the mini zonker strip is quite thin. You don't want a real thick piece, you want it fairly thin. And what we're going to do is tie it off the back of the hook for the tail. And once we have it tied in, and take a few wraps behind the, the tail, we're going to cut it to length. And I like to have it about the length of the hook. So just pull that back and cut it about the length of the hook. So the next step to the fly is take some deer hair. We're going to measure it back about half the distance of the tail and tie it in. Allow that hair just to slightly wrap around the hook. Pull up all that extra hair and take another couple of wraps through that. And then what we're going to have to do is trim it each time because what we want to do is start building up a body and we want the body really to be full of deer hair. So we're just going to cut this off fairly close to the hook and we'll keep building up and keep tying in clumps of deer hair that extend back on the hook. Now that I've worked my way up the body and tied in probably about four to five good clumps of deer hair, so you can see it's quite, quite full and the body's nice and flat, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of rabbit, and we want just a small little bud of rabbit, just to create one ear on one side and one ear on the other. So just cut them off, probably to about a quarter inch in length, and we'll tie them in for the ears. Now we'll continue up to form the head, so again, take some more deer hair. And I like to actually put one wrap on first, just to form a collar on the fly. This actually forms a, a small little collar right behind the, the, uh, the ears we just put in. And this keep, bring, keep wrapping your deer hair forward to form the, the head on the fly, like you would a normal spun deer hair head. Now that I've built up the head, I'm actually gonna trim it like you normally do with deer hair, just to form the head. So I'll whip finish, and then we'll take it out of the vise and trim it up. So well, there it is, finished squeaky. You know, the nice thing about this pattern or any big most pattern is the fish can see it well. So whenever you're gonna fish for brookies, they go after a most pattern voraciously. 
give it a try. Oh, that's a nice fish. I'll come down to you, Donald. Oh, is it? Oh, he's got some size. I'll just try to back him up. They like the Madam X. They like the mid sized dry right yeah. now. Oh, oh stay fort. stuck for a minute more. Oh, he's a nice fish. I just can't. <laughs> There's his head, Donald. Oh! <laughs> nice one? That's a nice fish. A little Madam X in there. Oh, nice for me. Very nice, thank you. Well, that's what you need, you were right. You should have a little net, eh? Even, even a little one like this, just to get them in there, because... And then the other thing is, this, this has got the scale on it, so for the guys that think they're catching the 10... <laughs> you can you can verify what... <laughs> oh, look at how gorgeous that, that is. Nice it's got Great some beautiful color. colors on it. Yeah, that is. Hold them up for everybody. Oh, there he is, there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh. Just the gorgeous <laughs> colors, eh? Oh, the beautiful fins. Oh, all those flat, those, I mean, when you saw the big silver bars over there. Can you believe that? How big that was? So I just hooked up a fish. I'm bringing it in. I told Dale, I said, this is big. It's not jumping, but it's big. I get it right close to me. It's about a 15 pound Atlantic salmon. Big cartwheel, gone. Oh, we both <laughs> got to see him up close, though, so other than for the camera. That was Remember, pretty I spectacular. Saying, I can't see him yet. I can't see him. He comes out of the water right in front of me. And that's the one species of all the places we got we've never caught in Atlantic except we've never fished for them. And I still haven't. And you had the <laughs> At least I can see him up guy. one now, though. Was that ever big? Oh, oh, was that ever big? Man, that was huge. And wow. cold. Just that was cold. a thriller. Oh. So, so what are you throwing now? Sing tip down there to... Well, that's where I was. Just I was casting up and letting it sink down. Wow. Wow, that's right. That was spectacular. Too, you know, remember that? I just knew it was different. You'll be dreaming about oh, that I will. one. I was just like watching a big steel like come right out of the water. Especially the cartwheel like oh, that. Right, right here, in front of us. Right in front of me. I'm trying to look and see what it is. Man. Well, I found it quite amusing. Very spectacular. <laughs> yeah. I bet you did. I enjoyed it. I'm glad it wasn't me who lost it. Uh -huh. it would be. <laughs> if you wouldn't have cartwheeled, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have lost it. Yeah, if he'd have just ran, maybe, yeah. right, instead? Oh. Nice <laughs> chunk. <laughs> nice yeah, chunk. Beautiful brook chunk, just beautiful. Now, he still had a, he's still a little pep, eh? Ooh, look at how fat he is. Oh, he's a chunky one, eh? Uh -huh. Want to kiss this <laughs> one? <laughs> That's up for you, Donald. Oh. Oh, this is a beautiful color fish. Just got out there first cast, right through. And this guy hit it. These fish, I just want to give everybody a nice close up. Yeah. It's a nice one. Ooh, shit. Oh, you good. Holy cow, I had to walk him back here. He's a tough fish. Oh. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Just gorgeous. Oh, oh, they're beautiful. Boy, how big is that guy doing? That's nice, eh? Ah, oh, there he is there. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. The beautiful spots and everything. They're just pretty fish. Wow. I'm button them. There he is. I'm button. Oh, gee. God. I'm searching. I'm down here searching for the for the big guy. There's a whole bunch of brookies up there that we're catching. And I caught a couple of nice ones to start. Dale and Donald stayed up there, but uh, I'm down here in search of the big Atlantic. Once you, once you actually hook one, it's something else. Boy, they just, they're amazing fish. So I'm just trying to make some long casts. And Don said to work the hole. You gotta just start, cover a lot of water. It's the only way you're gonna find them. Find out where they're holding and then you can get them. So I'm just gonna keep working this all the way down the stretch, see if I can find something. Beside me, followed and followed. I could hear this, and it kept plopping my mouse. It kept plop, 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 I could plop. hear it right beside me. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> that seems to be when you hook them up, though, when you're skittering it versus just dead float. Not huge, just nice size. It's amazing these little guys will eat a mouse that big, though. There it goes. He's off and going. The big shrew. He's taking this a one's line. a big one. Oh. <laughs> he just came and sucked it off the top. <laughs> the giant rat. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was bigger than that. I mean, he's still oh, a nice. Oh, he's still a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Can you look yeah. real oh. big. Look at the big mouse that came out. Oh, yeah. Look at <laughs> And the mouse is always on the top of their lip, right? Yeah. Whoa. You just got to grab the mouse. <sighs> There he goes. Look at the mouse. That's what I like. <laughs> Finally, just hit that mouse dry, floating like a dry fly. That's not even a. Oh. They got some girth. Hold on, I'll let you free. Just don't take my mouse with you. <laughs> Unreal. We've had it all today too with weather. We've had, you know, we've had everything for weather today, haven't oh. we? The brutal rain to start, we're absolutely <laughs> drenched. It cleared off nice. We're getting a good afternoon fish. And it's you like know, the an neat thing is, little dry fly pool. It's all calm and yeah, nice. But and there's there's so many great areas. We've gone up this river. There's about 12 or 13 just fantastic pools we fished, and there's big fish in all of them. It's just dry fly sinkers, sink tips with streamers, anything. Yeah, it's just fantastic. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to pull it by everybody that's around here. Ugh. Man, probably talking about the two. The two main setups we have going today, the one I have right now is an eight weight, and the reason I'm using an eight weight is because I'm casting a big fly. You can see this fish here. It's a real nice brookie. And of course, we're using this big shrew pattern. So there's the mouse. So look at the size of the pattern. Look at the fly. So this big brookie, if I can grab him. Oh, look at the size of that. There he is there. Look at that. Oh, he's got some bite marks or something on him. Look at the size of them. Big, big brookie. Just gorgeous. Yeah, look at it. He's got a couple of more. Ooh, there he goes. And here's why. I'm using an 8 weight. That's a big fly. You know, whenever you're using most patterns, again, the big key here is with this setup, you can see my leader is only, you know, six, seven feet long. There's the end of the fly line right there. I've got, uh, actually, what I put on was a 10-pound, 9-foot, 
uh, leader for a steelhead, and then I cut it back. So I made it about seven feet, so I've got the real heavy end. The fish aren't leader shy. Again, a weight rod, not mainly because of the fish. Yeah, the fish are pretty tough, five, six pounds, but it's mainly that fly. In order to cast this fly that big, you need something to power it out. So anything from a six to an eight weight. The other setup we're using is a six weight rod, and I've got a nine and a half foot six weight. Can either go drier with a real light sink tip when we're fishing those nice streamer patterns on top, something that stays right along the surface and those fish are coming up and driving it. Well, boys, that was quite the day. Quite the spectacular day. So we had it all. We had the pouring rain. We had the sunny skies. Well, not sunny, but at least overcast. We had dry fly, we had sink tip, we had everything. And it, even I had a shot at one Atlantic salmon. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even know it. We got to see it anyway. But you know, it's fantastic up here. You know, you go with Arctic Adventures. This is called Tuna Lake 2. It's a great area. You know, we're just we're just south of uh, ba Baffin Islands, aren't we? Like we're just to the south. Yeah, we're just south of Iqaluit, what, Kujuwak. Yeah, we're yeah. to the east of Kujuwak and just south of Ungava Bay. And it's really easy to get here. You just actually, anywhere from Vancouver, you come up to, you get, head over to Montreal, Montreal to Kujuwak, and then in to either lodge. Yeah. You know, he's got two great lodge sets up. We're at Payne, you guys went to Payne River. For we're up here yeah. for Arctic Char, we're up here at Tulik. I didn't mean you can't beat it, it's just phenomenal. And who, who do we have to thank for all this, Don? Uh, Steve Ashton. Steve Ashton manages this operation for the Inuit and uh, first class operation. And uh, we get a chance to catch big brook trout, Arctic char, and as you said today earlier, uh, Atlantic, Atlantic salmon. Atlantic salmon. This is when you said dry fly. Look yeah. <laughs> I mean, the huge. There's, yeah. there's the flies. The great yeah. big bombers. Like, look at that thing. Look, that's wow. like a bird. It is. <laughs> <laughs> they worked on the brook trout like crazy there. today, too, eh? Wow. Wow, I can hardly wait till tomorrow, eh? Start <laughs> pitching these out. We didn't try this till late in the day. Donald yeah. decided because there had been salmon in this pool. But the brook trout were eating these things too. Look at the size of them. Hey, you know, of these two places we've been, we haven't even really touched on the big guys yet. <laughs> no, we're going to Angie's pool tomorrow. That's where yeah, the big ones are. Yeah. Excellent. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.